<laughs> Greetings, cyberdogs and citizens of the internet. This is Rendog coming at you from the newly forming Silkworm Railway Line in this Let's Play Minecraft Survival series. In the previous episode, we were digging the tunnel that is going to link the Grand Molehole Station that you see behind me to the Silkworm Gang Island. And in this episode, guys, we are going to be continuing work on this line, laying down some railway lines and making sure that we have a direct link to the underwater tunnel just out of Silkworm Gang Island. So it is going to be a freaking sweet episode of crafting. Sit back and relax, my sabba diggity dogs. Let's play some Minecraft freaking survival. Uh, one second. Mm. Red bush to the bay. <laughs> oh man, guys, since you were last with me, I have been working my butt off on this Silkworm Railway line, and I cannot wait to show you exactly what I've done. Uh, to start off with, in today's episode, I think what we're going to do is start laying down some trackage to see how far we can get. Over the last, uh, I don't know, over the course of season three, we've managed to actually collect quite a few rails from our adventures um, in, in abandoned mine shafts and in chests and all that sort of stuff. And as you can see, guys, we have a ridiculous amount of rails, actually. So I'm going to pick them all up. I'm not entirely sure whether or not this will be enough to make it all the way to Silkum Gang Island, but we're going to give it a good try. Um, I'm also here to repair a few of my tools. Going to repair this diamond shovel with this half-broken diamond shovel I've just made for us a brand new diamond pickaxe also the one we were using in the previous episode is almost freaking broken uh, but we also have an axe just in case we need it i've already been to the grove to collect some more jungle wood um, i've used a bit of glowstone in the actual tunnel itself decided to try and pimp out this railway tunnel a little bit in all of the other tunnels that we've built we've always just used torches and i don't know man it's a little bit boring you know uh we need to upgrade this place a little bit and where better to start than with our brand new railway line? And uh, what I'm going to do, guys, is just lay down some trackage, see how far we get. We're going to follow the, the course of this new line all the way down into the underground tunnel. And man, I have done some so wheat work in that tunnel, guys. Cannot wait for you guys to see it. What is up, Pogo? Um, <laughs> um, I've actually widened the tunnel by two blocks more. And I've added all of the support beams. I've added some lighting. Um, I've, I've also added all the spots where the redstone torches are going to go to power the the powered rails that are going to be the basically the the, the workhorse of this uh, railway line but it looks like we might have a little bit of a problem over here hmm I'm gonna have to try and fix i mean i think it'll still work but for some reason it doesn't do a, a clean link over here which is very annoying uh, but we will try and fix that at a, at a later date check it check this out guys look how sweet this tunnel is looking now oh man it's looking so pimping and what i've done is i've separated uh i've se separated the tunnel into basically uh, I don't know, modules, I guess, of 20 blocks long. And in the middle of each of these modules is where our redstone torch is going to sit. So um, in the middle of this module over here, for example, the redstone torch will sit here. We've got a bit of glowstone above it. So when we're traveling through this tunnel on a minecart, it's going to look absolutely epic. Um, we're just going to be zooming along here, which is going to be so sweet. Uh, we're going to have to use a little bit of gold, though, to make all of the powered rails, which makes me kind of sad because it means that it's going to be less gold to finish off Granny Dog's monument. But you know what, man? If we need gold to power this rail system, so be it. What we could also do is make a steam-powered minecart. That could be pretty awesome. So we can actually make like a little steam engine that runs off coal, I think it is. Um, and then we won't actually need to use any powered rails. But I don't know, man. That, that kind of feels like we're stuck in the in the Stone Age or something using like, you know, such an old form of transportation, man. We need to use some redstone power up in this jazz. But uh, check it out, guys. We are coming all the way to almost to where we were uh, working on the tunnel at the end of the last episode. And this part of the tunnel is actually I don't know I just really love these little bits of uh, these tunnels that we make that sort of come out into the open there are a few um, parts of the tunnel on the way to Dogtown that also go through the open and I just absolutely love them for some reason um, like when you travel through them and then you get to this part and it I don't know it just feels more like a like a like an authentic railway system I guess when you have these little parts over here and as you can see I've built up the walls and I've made like little support beams and it's just looking freaking sweet man and I don't know if this tunnel actually takes us to oh this tunnel takes us to the sewer, the sewers of mole city that's pretty cool um so if we ever need to get into the sewers from the railway line we know where to go man but it looks like we are not going to have enough rails to actually go all the way to silkum gang island we'll get pretty far i think we might be able to get all the way to that first little bridge 
And uh, in today's episode, we're going to be working on that bridge a little bit more, try to finish it off. Um, but I pretty much laid down all of the jungle wood plankage for this entire line now, uh, which is sweet. Okay, so we've got a stack and almost we've got almost two stacks of rails left. We are definitely going to run out of rails. But we do have a butt ton of iron that has been smelting away in the furnace room from our adventure uh, in the butt crack of Amazonia. So I think I, I don't think we're going to have a problem like with the with the iron for this railway line. I think the problem is going to come in with the gold, man. We are we might not even have enough gold to actually finish off this this line. I think this might be the longest line we've built. I'm not actually sure whether this line is longer than the Dogtown line, but. I don't know, it's going to be pretty freaking long, man. But check it out, I've also added some more railings along here, some uh, some of these fences, because because it's health and safety. You know, in, in Rain Town, in Raintopia, um, health and safety comes first, man. <laughs> the travelers of the Grail railway line need to always be safe. And check it out, man, this is looking so awesome. When we come back to the mole hole from Silkwom Gang Island, we get such an awesome view um, of the strip mine outpost and of the Great Bridge and of this like frozen lake over here, man. So, so sweet. Oh, that is awesome. Uh, okay, so we've run out of rails, unfortunately. We're going to have to head back to uh, the mole hole and build some more rails to complete this line. But in today's episode, we are going to be working on the bridge that is going to cross this tundra over here. And we are going to be working on the tunnel that is going to be going through this little hill over here and connecting up to the entrance of the Silkwom Gang Island underwater tunnel. All right, cyber diggity dogs, welcome back. Sorry, just realized that the sun was about to go down. So I, I just quickly went back to the foreman's quarters for a sleep. And now we can focus on getting this freaking tunnel dug out correctly. And uh, the reason that I'm focusing so much on this tunnel is because I do not want this tunnel to be un like out of uh, alignment with the line that we're building now. Because then we're probably going to have to make the Silkwim railway line do like a little jig, like zigzag somewhere to try and connect it up correctly. So I definitely don't want that happening. And uh, let's head over to the, the underwater tunnel that's just outside of Silkwim Gang Island. And that'll give us a, a, an idea of exactly where the line needs to go and where it's going to come out on the other side of this mountain i think that that pillar over there that i set up is the, the dead center of the underwater tunnel um i think i think we built the underwater tunnel in such a way that there is a center line that we need to follow let's have a look um there we go so this is the center of the tunnel right here right so we're going to want the railway line to go up like this and let's just keep it going up until it reaches the surface of this beach over here. Okay, and this is where the railway line coming out of the underwater tunnel will just head on straight along the coast of this ocean over here. And then it's gonna go straight into the side of that mountain. And what I'm gonna do is just dig all the way through this mountain and we should come out on the other side somewhere uh, near the end of the line that we've built now and then we can connect the two lines together with that uh, with a nice sweet ass bridge so tell you what i'm going to do guys i'm a i'm a tunnel through this mountainside and when i get to the other side i will bring y'all back on the other side of this compliant compliant all right, Cyberdogs, welcome back. I have just completed excavation and I have dug all the way through the side of this mountain. And as we can see, we are slightly out of line over here. We're out of line by about three blocks over here. So um, yeah, good thing we actually did this and didn't start building the railway line and building the bridge actually without checking that it would line up correctly. So uh, pretty happy about that. It looks like we're gonna have to move, we're gonna have to extend the railway line over there by, I don't know, three or four blocks. Or, or so I think uh, let's just let's just get this um, lined up 100% correctly I think we're probably gonna have to go down one more row like this to line up correctly and what we can do is just build like a like a placeholder over here so we know exactly what line to follow let's just build this across this frozen lake like this oh man this ice makes crafting so much easier <laughs> um, there we go Man, check at that cow! <laughs> Jeez, dude, that was some pro walking you did over there. Good job. <laughs> I think I actually built this when we were um, when I was traveling with the tray you at this area somewhere. Let's get rid of this, man. This is, that, that is that is some OCD issues right there. Um, but here we go. Okay, perfect. So now we know that to line up our railway line correctly, we actually need to extend this by just a few uh, blocks like this. There we go. Just get rid of, rid of all of this jazz. So wheat. 
Okay, awesome. So, our bridge will need to start over here, right? This is my bad over here. And let's get some jungle wood plankage in there too. Okay, awesome. So, this is where our bridge needs to go. Um, and then we can dig out the tunnel and we can actually complete the, the Silkworm railway line completely. I think we still need to do a little bit of work in that underwater tunnel though. Uh, especially at the ends of it. I don't think we actually completed that. But for now, I think what I want to do is start work on this bridge. And I think that this this dirt, in fact, should be um, jungle wood plankage. Um, let's have a look. So what are we going to do? We're going to go up by, I don't know, let's go up by, by three. So check it out. We'll make like some rail, rail stairs, I guess. Cow? Oh, cow. Steakification! That is what happens when you mess with the builder, man. Don't you know I'm freaking build- You don't come and stand on the place that I'm crafting. Give me your freaking steaks, man. Butthole. Man, did he give me cooked steaks and uncooked steaks? Sweet! <laughs> Jeez, that was- that was one fat cow. Um, <laughs> alright, so let's go up like... One, two... Three. Yeah, let's go up by three. We'll make it like a pretty sweet bridge, right? And then one more, and then th that'll be like the, 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 then the bridge can flatten out from this point like this, right? Okay, awesome. So we, we're going to go up three steps up to the top of the bridge, and then, then it'll go completely straight. And what we can do is make like a little support beam in the middle, like we have for the Great Bridge, like this kind of structure in the middle over here, but like a miniature version. That'd be pretty sweet. And I think what we'll do is we'll, we'll make sure that, um, so we go one, two, three, f so it's four steps from the bank. Let's do exactly the same thing on this side. So this is step one. One, two. Trace. Cuatro. Okay, there we go. So those are all the steps that we need to do. So we Okay, now we can link up this side to that side and then start working on the little support beam that's going to be in the middle. But the sun is going down, guys. So I'm going to head back to the foreman's quarters, have a little sleep. Um, I'll do a little bit of work on this and bring you guys back once there's a little bit more to see. Kaplam! All right, cyber diggity dogs, welcome back. And I have just finished building the bridge structure itself. And what we can do now is make some sweet ass support pillars to hold this puppy up. Right now, there is a serious physics fail going down, and uh, <laughs> what I've done is put these things down over here to try and figure out what the middle of this thing is. And there are 22 of these blocks, so I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So this over here is going to be basically the center of the bridge. And what we can do now is build some like pretty sweet ass support beams, I think. And uh, I think what we'll do is just... Like, why don't we just make them relatively simple? Because they don't need to be absolutely massive, right? So check it out. We'll make them like this. Yeah, that seems to... Yeah, that's that's that looks pretty sweet. That looks pretty awesome. And then obviously what we need to do is go all the way down to the, to the ocean bottom to make sure that there's absolutely no physics fails going on over here. And it looks like I've got a little bit of sand down there, so we'll get rid of that. And there we go, the support beam is now 100% structurally sound. And I think we'll also, we'll complete it over here by um, doing that. Yeah, that works. And then exactly the same thing is going to happen on this side. It's like a, like a mini great bridge, man. It's pretty sweet. Oh, oops, my bad. This is cute, but it is wrong. These beams need to go like this. There we go. Yeah, that is that is pretty sweet. That's looking pretty awesome. Let's have a look. It's like it's like the Great Bridge has two support beams, right? This one has just like one big one. Although let's go have a look at Yeah. 
I kind of like how the, yeah, it has these little, like little beams around it. That's really awesome. I think I think I want to do it that way, actually. The Great Bridge is slightly different, right? So um, what we're going to do, I think, we'll get rid of these ones in the middle. And we'll make the support beams like act more like giant pillars, right? Rather than like one big giant pillar. Let's have two. Wait, this is doing exactly the same thing. <laughs> like basically what we need to do is make the support beam come out one further like this yeah there we go so this is the support pillar like this and then we'll connect it to the bridge like we did with the the great bridge with like a little platform kind of thing that you can walk around yeah that's pretty sweet all right guys i'm gonna i'm gonna build this and see what it looks like and bring you guys back on the other side of this compliant compliant all right, guys, welcome back. And as you can see, things are looking pretty sweet with the Silkworm Railway Line Bridge. And uh, what I've done is I've, I've raised the spires over here that are going to be holding up the bridge. And it is looking pretty awesome. I've also like made this part of the bridge solid on this side. And I think that actually looks pretty awesome. It kind of, I don't know, it just adds like a bit of structural integrity to the whole thing, if you know what I mean. Um, before, like the stairs were looking like a little bit janky, to be honest with you. So um, I think, yeah, I think that's pretty cool. I think I like that but what I do want to do though is make sure that we keep structural integrity over here because what I've done is um, I basically got the bridge line so the road of the bridge being held up by wood over here right you can see that it actually looks like it's being held up by wood and uh, I think what we do need to do though is connect this up over here to add like um, a nice solid bit of stone support to the actual road of the bridge underneath the bridge I know I know this is uh, not realistic this is Minecraft but in my brain <laughs> I need the bridge to have like some sort of realism to it so I think by adding this beam of cobblestone over here it basically adds to the structural integrity of the bridge and it, um, it is looking pretty awesome and uh, what we need to do now guys is finish off these spires uh, that are holding up the bridge and I think what I want to do is make like a little arch of some kind like we have over at the Great Bridge just to sort of finish off the look you know um, and what I want to do is also solidify this side of it too just like we did on the other side looks like there's a freaking tree in the way over here though uh, so let's get rid of this <clears throat> so guys what I'm gonna want to do now is just finish off the the like the the framework of this bridge finish off these spires have a look at what that looks like and then we can get cracking on actually finishing off this tunnel over here uh, and then finally finally connecting Silkworm Gang Island to Grand Mohol Station so I'll see you guys in a second Kaplayam all right cyber dogs welcome back I'm just looking across the landscape at the Great Bridge over there trying to figure out exactly how to finish off this miniature version of the Great Bridge and I think I think I know exactly what to do here. I've raised the spires up to a pretty high height and what we're going to be doing now is just finishing off the ouch, uh, finishing off the little archway over here in between uh, the spires and maybe this archway is a little bit too high. Um, maybe these spires are like a tad too high but if we, oh god here we go. <laughs> here we go with the freaking stairs. Um, there we go. That kind of finishes off the archway. I can't remember if we made that archway out of wood or out of cobblestone. Let's, uh, let's quickly pop over to this little bridge over here to have a look. I kind of want this bridge and the Great Bridge to, to look like, you know, to look as if they've been designed by the same architect. Yeah, and it looks like we've got like a platform and then an arch underneath the platform. So we're going to do that exact same design for this arch, I think. And it's going to look freaking sweet, man. Check it out. It's really looking sweet. Yeah, I think that arch is basically, yeah, that's basically perfect, I think. Although what I think we will do, right, let's get rid of the, the cobblestone up here. Get rid of this, these stairs over here and we'll make the, the platform itself at the same level that the stairs were. So like this. Oops. Let's just finish off this platform and then underneath this platform we will build the the support beams, right? Like with the stair with the uh, with the stairs, like this. Check it out. Buy them, comply them, and maybe what we need to do is add a little bit of uh, slabbage in the middle there. Let's make some slabbage and stick it in there, and that's gonna like finish off the um, the look, right? Uh, where's my dirt? I got dirt. I got dirt. <laughs> There we go. So that kind of finishes off the arch quite nicely, I think. Let's just get rid of this. And maybe what we should do is have um, 
I don't know, maybe we should have some glowstone or something in here. Hmm. Maybe. Hmm. I think maybe these blocks need to be jungle wood too. Like that. Hmm. Or maybe not. Maybe these actually maybe these ones need to be stairs. Let's try that. Oh, oh, he oh, here we go. Here we go. Ren dog derping with the stairs again. Maybe these need to be uh stairs. Stairs. Plankage. And then like a little bit of glowstone in here. Like in the center. Like that. That could be pretty sweet. I think there's a yeah, there's a, a block that we don't want over here somewhere. Is it this one? Yeah. So we right, let's get rid of all of these all of this dirt and have a look at what this arch looks like. Uh it's okay. Mm, actually no, it doesn't look okay at all. It looks terrible. <laughs> right guys, I'm gonna try and fix this arch. And uh, let's see if we can make it look a little bit better. Alright, Sabbat diggity dogs, welcome back to the Silkworm Railway Bridge. And things are starting to look pretty sweet, man. I really like the arch with a little bit of glowstone in the middle. I've added some of these, uh, some of this fencage over here. And I'm going to have to, like, run fencage all the way to the end of the bridge on both sides to complete the look. But it is looking freaking sweet, man. I just want to do one more structural integrity check to make sure that OCD cannot kick in at any point. Looks like these support beams are all, yeah, that's all down to the ground everything's down to the ground on that side absolutely perfect let's make sure that these oh i think oh here we go here we go just spotted a fail just spotted a fail guys uh good thing we do these structural integrity checks man um because man i would not be able to live with this let's get these pillars or this support pillar all the way down to the bottom of the ocean ah ice need air there we go Need oxygen? Man, w working underwater, man. Should get danger paid for this jazz. Right, there we go. So, wheat, guys. Well, I'm really loving how this bridge is uh, coming out. It's really sweet. I've, like, it's taken me quite a long time. I've been working on this for about an hour now. But I'm really, really loving how it's turning out. And, uh, like, like, the journey to Silkum Gang Island is just going to be so pleasant. You know, like, traveling through multiple tunnels, going over a really sweet bridge... It's just going to be like a really awesome little journey, man. Uh, there we go. Okay, so that pillar is now structurally sound. Let's make sure this one is too. Yeah, that's touching the bottom of the ocean on all sides. Perfect. And let's do one structural check over here. Yep, that's looking good. Everything is looking good. Awesome. All right, let's, let's have a look at our bridge from a little bit of a distance. See what it looks like. Oh, man, look at that. Isn't that cute? It's like a little mini version of the Great Bridge. Oh, it's so cute, man. <laughs> I love this little bridge. It's so cool. Oh, man. Epic! Alright, guys. Well, unfortunately, we have run out of time in today's episode. I'm going to continue work on this bridge. Probably going to have to go get a little bit more jungle wood, too, because um, it's going to take me forever to put down all of this fencage over here. I'm also probably going to dig out this tunnel completely also. So next time you guys see me in this series, uh, this line will basically be finished. And maybe what we'll do is then finish off the underwater tunnel just outside of Silicon Gang Island. But guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. You smackity smack that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, you smackity smack that subscribe button. Or uh, I'm, I'm angry with the haters. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. It's been Ren Diggity Dog playing Minecraft Survival. See you in the next video, my friends. Goodbye!